Welcome back to G Man P, the great TV. If you tuned in, hit a like, share, and subscribe. If not, we ain't doing no tripping. Now, what we're talking about today, I'm going to start off with this. I never really understood, and it's not everybody went to Ivy League colleges. You understand? But I never really understood, like, why is that? Like, people would be like, I would see certain people. This is predominantly white people. I would see certain people be like bragging like, oh, with a chest stick that, oh, I went to Harvard. I graduated Harvard. Da -da 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 -da. Then it didn't just be going on. They're not humble. They're not humble at all. You understand? Now I'm going to get into why they act like that. And I got hard evidence to prove what I'm talking about. Okay. The government, certain, uh, uh, certain departments of the government is linked to college doing their dirty work. Only Ivy League. That's who the government is linked to with these Ivy League schools. You understand? So it all makes sense now why they was boasting and putting their chest out like they better than you is because they people will do anything for the dollar you are even college people you understand they they didn't put in their work and, and they expecting something a bunch of something out of uh, out of them going to school correct you understand these ivy league people's expecting something so there's government people that went to these same schools that's linked in so a lot of this these uh scandals and projects and experiments that they do it starts it, it starts at these ivy league colleges the government cert agency uses the government i mean it uses the colleges to do their dirty work you understand it all it all makes sense now now we're gonna get into uh george washington when George Washington was writing up this Constitution, everything that's going on today, this is what he was scared of or afraid was going to happen. You understand? So when George Washington created and wrote up the Constitution, Constitution, Sir Charles Pickney from Europe worked hand in hand with George Washington. Uh, Sir Charles Pickney was like George Washington's assistant. But I'm going to tell you about Sir Charles Sir Charles Cotsworth Pickney. He was the founding father of the United States military. He was an officer during the Revolutionary War. He was an attorney, a planner, and a slave owner. So for all you people out there that say, oh, what do you do when you get bored? You should never be bored. You just hear what I said Sir Charles Cotsworth Pickney was doing? He was an attorney, a planter, and a slave owner. You understand? And people be like, oh, slave owner this. That was like how in these times people like to sell drugs. That was the that was the facade back then with slave owner. Everybody had slave owners. Black people too. You understand? It's 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 facts. Go look it up. Not only was he did all these uh, ma uh, magnif magnificent things. He was a governor too. And he uh he was an advocate for people getting free school. Ain't nobody should be paying for knowledge. Knowledge if you want knowledge, knowledge should be free. You shouldn't be having to pay no college. Any type of school should be free. You understand? And that's what Sir Charles Cotsworth Pickney was about. He was about his business. Even though that's not biologically even though that's my last name biologically that's not who i am because i can break down the uh mk ultra program and all that i got hard evidence you understand but we're going to break down the mk ultra program down in a whole nother section because i was a part of it my the people that raised me you had to sign your the parental advisors had to sign you over to say that it was okay for the M MKO, uh, MK Ultra. Now everything's adding up certain places where I would have to go to these doctors and do dirt certain things when I was little is because I was in MK Ultra. Ain't nobody dumb. 
everything's adding up now. Everything. And I could get even get into why, excuse my language, why back in the day when white people called, uh, they'll say nigger rigging. I know the whole point and why they even say that. The whole point of nigger rigging was to discredit black people so you couldn't get business. You understand? The act that the it was it's a truth and a lie. The white person was saying nigger rigging, but the lie was the everything that was true about whatever they done did, whatever project they did, or whatever business thing they did, they're telling the truth that somebody messed something up and didn't know what they doing. But the whole point where they was lying at, it was them. They're telling on somebody else, blaming their mistakes and their F-ups on the black man. So you can be discredited and can't get no business. You understand? That's the whole point of that, that saying nigger rigging. That's the whole point of that. Let's get serious. You understand? We gonna, and we're going to get into the MK Ultra. Yeah, that was deep. So certain little things that was done to me as a child, I understand now because I didn't. I, I got facts now behind this MK Ultra. So I was I was signed by parental people. See, the picnics that first came over were Europe when Europe and all them came over. Christopher, all them Washington and all them great people from back in the day. They came from Europe. You understand? They was a uh, they was about their business. But the Pikmi generations now, they're cursed. This ain't the same people from back then. They got cursed. You understand? And that ain't who I really is. That's just like somebody that's in the family. They're adopted. Biologically, he's not really a Pikmi. You understand? They adopt people. They steal babies and adopt people in. They're part of a, a, a cult. You understand? Freemason. That's what they're a part of. You understand? But it can it gets even deeper down the rabbit hole. I know who I am. Do you know who you is? I know who I am. Yeah. So I appreciate everybody that tuned in to G-Man P, the great TV. And for the ones that didn't, we ain't doing no tripping. Peace.